Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Sonic Forces. In the last episode, we did a ton of stuff relating to going to the chemical plant in order to shut down the Death Egg's weapon system so we can infiltrate it and weaken the Phantom Ruby. This time, we're going to be going to the Death Egg to infiltrate it and weaken the Phantom Ruby. The Death Egg's weapon systems are down. Now's your chance. Move! Hurry! Just destroy the Death Egg and cut off the power supply! You're making it sound like a walk in the park! This is a Death Egg! Don't sweat it! The other Sonic has this under control! Hey! The defense system's still up! I thought we shut it down! Probably switched over to auxiliary power! Not to worry! Sonic is on the job! He'll find a way through! Not a huge fan of this level. However, I'd say this is one of the few classic Sonic levels that actually has good music. And I'm not sure if that's popular opinion, but I just, I really like this song, so go ahead and listen. Yeah, I don't know, I like this place's music. It's probably an unpopular opinion. Something about it really works, though, and makes me think, yeah, this is what should be playing while I'm infiltrating the Death Star. Like, imagine if this was playing in Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I'd be okay with it. Final level of that game, what it needed was music, and what it had was forgettable music. Meanwhile, this game has this like, fucking banger for the Death Star, but it's a Death Egg. Oh shit, okay, yeah, if you jump on these red things, you lose your rings, so... Good luck. Because you don't get your cat bonus while you're... playing as Classic Sonic or Sonic Sonic. Okay. Um, okay, that wasn't the smartest thing. Yeah, it's Sonic we're talking about here as I mess up and do exactly what Knuckles said not to do. You overestimate me, Tails. Okay. That was actually close. Okay. You just have to wait for these things and eventually they'll just automatically take you to wherever they lead. None of them lead into pits or anything, don't worry about that. They all actually lead to where you're supposed to go. Oh, invincibility. You know what that means. Alright! The death egg is starting to crumble! Get out of there before it blows! So what did we do to make the death egg start to crumble? I don't know, but we sure got an S rank for it. <laughs> to one gold, one silver, two bronze. We're getting close to double gold. Plaid scarf, more br gross hair, uh, handlebar mustache, cool guy glasses, those, and those. Clearing with an S rank. Those, 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 that. Five more hours 
before the plan is executed. Infinite, let's make a tactical retreat so that we can remobilize our forces. And by tactical retreat, you mean to say, flee with our tails between our legs. I'm quite displeased about this, Doctor. Shut up and just follow me! What? Wait! We can go to the Death Egg's laser cannon now. Why didn't it ever use that? Whatever. Metropolitan Highway. One of the worst stages in the game in my opinion, but I mean it's not the worst thing to play. Mission accomplished. The Phantom Ruby signal has gotten much weaker. This should effectively put a stop to the Doctor's greatest weapon. The Sonics have made an opening for us. We can't just let that go to waste. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Time to settle the score! Now that the Phantom Ruby is out of the way, we can finally smash Eggman into an omelet. Hey, don't count your chickens before you smash your eggs. Rouge is right. The fact that Eggman and Infinite are still around means we can't let our guard down. I just want everyone to get home safely, okay? All right, fine. Everyone get your game face on. The target is Eggman at the Central Tower. Stop, don't look back. Just focus on the task ahead no matter what. Let's do this, everyone. Charge! Charge indeed. You get to boost a lot starting off here, which, you know, depends on who you are. I think that's good. I enjoy boosting. Especially in this game. Hedgehog Engine 2 has made boosting so much more satisfying than the first Hedgehog Engine. But, like, there's not much that's better about... HE2 to HE1, but we can capture Eggman. We win. Find out where he's at, Sonic. We'll provide as much cover as we can. All right, chasing Eggman is what I do best. I'll track him down in no time. This is the reason this is a bad level. Sonic can't really control from left to right very well, and it just makes it so these highways without uh, guard guardrails are far too easy to fall off of. And it's like, it encourages you to slow down more, and like, at points it even gives you, like, boost wisps. And like, you use them, you go for like two seconds, and then you fall off. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this level in any way, but whatever. It's not unplayable, doesn't ruin the whole experience, so whatever. Getting a little tricky with moving platforms now. God, fuck these guys. I, I don't know if I've been censoring them out. This entire series so far has been recorded in one day, so... I have made no decisions on editing, so... Why did I slide? That was my fault completely. Never slide on these things. That's going to be my advice from now on. It's okay to stomp down onto them. Just never hold a direction while you're ducking. Alright. Down. There we go. This one, not going for the red ring. That is one of the hardest red rings to get in the game, in my experience. Over here. There's a big battle going on. It's okay. We can hold for now. Our other forces are on the move, too. We can pull this off. Be careful. I'm detecting enemy just up ahead. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> How did that get an A rank? I died twice in stupid ways. Use a homing attack in a Sonic stage. We get another fanny pack, helmet, trans shoes. I love them. All right. Clear stage 23. 
golden helmet, pink goggles, Apple Watch, Sonic movie shoes, just low res camo. Collecting 40 red star rings, we can now play Bomb Block 2. Didn't even go over the first one. Not playing the second one either. Stage 24. Null space. Huh. Welcome, Sonic. Glad you could make it to your funeral. Infinite, do it! Take this. What is that? Ha ha! That, my spiky little frenemy, is null space. Null space? It's a little something that the Phantom Ruby cooked up. A closed off space where absolutely nothing exists. Goodbye, Sonic, my soon to be eradicated nemesis. Enjoy all the nothing. Since you always destroy the power source of my weapons, I decided to learn from my mistakes. I had a backup power source created under Metropolis. This isn't where we were meant to end up. Let's head back. Everyone's waiting for us. This is one of my favorite levels for one reason. I'm gonna shut up and let you hear why. We got this! Keep it up, partner! Nothing can contain the two of us at max power! Not even null space! What's up, everyone? I missed this place! What happened, Sonic? You two just up and disappeared! Nothing happened! Literally! Now let's track down Eggman! I'll be completely honest, I don't know how that wasn't an S rank, but whatever. It wasn't a bad run, and I'll do it again off screen, obviously, as I will with the rest of the levels I don't get S ranks on. Excuse me, boss? It can't be! It's impossible to get out of the Phantom Ruby's dumb space! Well, maybe by myself, but I had a little help from my friend. Something you wouldn't understand, since you don't have any friends. This changes nothing. Dr. Eggman will still have the last laugh. Maybe he'd have more friends if he didn't talk about himself on the third person.
We're getting very close. We have 85% of the word world back for Team Sonic. So, uh... Next time on Sonic Forces... We're gonna finally go after Eggman. See you guys then.